Today we're going to change the oil on my 2017 Ram 2500 Cummins. Got my gloves on so I don't get oil all over me as much as possible. Let's see how tight this thing is. Oh, it's not tight at all. Got a cheater bar ready. We just got a 3 8 square drive extension, 3 inch long, and a 3 8 inch ratchet tool. I already warmed the engine up, so temperature doesn't show till 2022. I could feel it. It's pretty warm, so watching I'll burn myself. Uh, I put a tarp underneath here because I got a brand new concrete driveway, and I want to try to not get it on there. Hopefully, I can get this out without it going all over the place. It might drop it. Hopefully, it's not too hot. You push up on the plug until you feel it's loose and then take it out. And we are going to let this drain out here for a little bit. Got myself an old rag to put this plug in and clean it up. Mm -hmm. What we need here is three gallons of 5W40. They recommend 5W40 for any temperatures under zero degrees and 10W40 above zero degrees. So I got Valvoline Premium Blue. As you can see on the sticker there, it's Cummins recommended and endorsed and an oil filter. I got Fleet Guards LF16035. I ordered this from Amazon. I will put a link below for the three gallons and the filter. The oil filter is right down there. I'm using a funnel to point to it. It's a little hard to see down there. It's right below the tip of the funnel there. You can see the oil filter right here from the side. You can access it on the passenger side wheel well. The tool I have to get it off is an adjustable wrench. Just goes around it and tightens up as you turn it. So they also have this tool available on Amazon. It is a plug for the oil filter. That way whenever you take it out and unscrew it, you leave it vertical. You screw this in there. And you'll be very careful it doesn't unscrew and you can tilt it to get it out of there because you can't get it out of there straight you gotta put it in there like this and then turn it and pull it out so i got the tool in there i got it worked in there this tool is pretty nice for getting out here there's not much room to do it it's, you gotta work it and just move it a little bit and you can see that by the writing on the oil filter it's turning Please subscribe and smash that like button if you're enjoying the video. Thank you. So we'll get this to where it's really loose and I can just turn it by hand and it feels like it's there now. Yeah. So we will get this oil filter wrench off. Get it out. I'm going to get a plastic bag and I'm going to work it down around that oil filter also. Just in case something spills. So there's a little like shelf down there that I stuck it on just to hold it. I'm not going to be able to show it on camera too much, but I'm going to get this plug worked on here. I got the plug worked on there. I did it by one hand. You can't get two in there. can't reach. So I got it in there as tight as I could with one hand. I'm going to wrap it with that plastic bag and pull it out. Got to turn it horizontal to get it out. Okay, so I got the oil filter out. I got a little bit of spillage when I sat it down. It's really not bad. I had it wrapped up with that plastic bag. While the oil was dripping, I took off the oil filter. We're going to dry off the oil pan here. I got the oil plug all cleaned up. Thread it back in there. Try to do this first so it's not forgotten about here. Grab our 3 8 inch square drive wrench. Snug her up. Okay, guys, I got it on there. Got it hand tight. It's hard to video it, but you can get your hand in there. You really got to stretch. Yeah, she's hand tight. I'm going to tighten it up about a quarter turn tighter with the tool here.
after making sure you place the oil plug and screw it back in, make sure it's tight and the oil filter, make sure it's hand tight and then about a quarter turn past that with a tool. Uh, we already loosened the oil filter cap to let the oil drain a little quicker. But take the cap off and we're going to replace the oil. Uh, 2017 Ram 2500 Cummins 6.7 diesel requires 12 quarts so we're going to go ahead and dump the whole 12 quarts in got a little funnel here again we have our valvoline premium blue cummins recommended full synthetic let that drip a little bit it's pretty good Place the oil cap. Just got to start up the engine, let it run for five to ten minutes or so, let it circulate, and we'll give the oil a check. We let the truck run for ten minutes now. I'm going to take it and check the oil. See right there, there's a whole marking that says safe. Clean that all off. Stick it back in there and see what we got here. And it's probably hard to see on the camera, but we're in the middle of the safe area there. Today we changed the oil on my 2017 Ram 2500 6.7 liter Cummins. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was helpful. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe. Thank you.